customer brings me this oil pump for a small block Chevrolet, which I protest in using it. He said it was brand new, ready to go, it was pre-primed, ready to bolt on the engine. The bolts were not tight. Shafts burred up, nicked up, and I'm supposed to put this on a brand new Vortec motor. This, this is, this is terrible. You know, we, we do not do work like this. Packed full of white grease. You can see we cleaned that out there. White grease has no place in an oil pump. When you start the engine up, it pastes the pleats of the filter and stops the filter from working. It restricts it. It's a freaking no-no. Can't believe this. Guy's a friend. If he was here right now, I'd be letting him know about it. This is where we hard lap the covers and bases and gears in. You notice that we will, uh, this is a precision ground surface. We put on some uh, trusty uh, uh, wet or dry sandpaper and uh, lap the cover in. Come back. Okay, we're back after we have our cover lap. The several attempts. You can still see the factory machining. The uh, blue indicates the low areas. And we're not trying to take out all the machine marks. We want to leave some for oil but we're trying to make it flat and where it will seal against the base. Notice on the outside, we have a barely have a contact edge now, but it will seal against the pump body. Notice the pump body, you can see, we have a nice contact area all, all the way around. I didn't blue this up as it was pretty flat already. And we also uh, lapped the mounting surface that goes to the main cap. Notice how how that varies in contrast but this will this will perform a good peripheral seal around the perimeter it will seal 